WWE Survivor Series. I just got done watching it. 2012. First, let me get to the pre-show. It was a tag team match. I originally could have sworn that they changed this match like three times. It was originally supposed to be 3MB, Heath Slater and Jinder Mahal versus Santi Morella and Zack Ryder. Then they changed it to 3MB versus Justin Gabriel and Tyson Kidd. But on the pre-show, Santino and Zack Ryder come out. And I'm like, okay. And it was good to see Drew McIntyre with 3MB. And actually because of Drew McIntyre, Heath Slater and Jinder Mahal got the win. Now let's get to the pay-per-view. We got a bonus 5-on-5 Survivor Series elimination match. Thank God for that. It was Brodus Clay, Justin Gabriel, Tyson Kidd, Sin Cara, and Rey Mysterio versus Tensai, Epico, Primo, Titus O'Neil, and Darren Young. It was a great way to start the show, and I love the fact that we got another Survivor Series elimination match. I was surprised because Brodus Clay fucked up that one move on... Tensai, so Tensai eliminated him quickly, and we ended up seeing, it was like, what, four on one by the end of it, and Rey Mysterio, Sin Cara, Justin Gabriel, and Tyson Kidd pinned Darren Young, and they won. Good match. Backstage, Caitlyn is, is getting ready to come out for her match, until someone in a blonde wig and a hood tries to attack her, but she catches them, and she, she rips the wig off, and it's Oksana. Then Eve shows up and says, oh, are you okay, bud? And then Caitlyn knocks her on her ass and says, oh, yeah, right, Eve. We can see through your bullshit. Diva's championship match, it's Eve defending against Caitlyn, and I saw myself really pulling for Caitlyn so much, but Eve won. All good for you, Eve. I'm glad you still have the belt, but I can't wait for the day when you finally do lose it. I really hope it was Caitlyn, though, but whatever. Backstage in the locker room, McFoley's Survivor Series team is arguing like crazy. And Foley tries to stop them and bring them all together, get them united. But I love the way it ended with Randy Orton just looked at McFoley and says, I hate you, and leaves. Like, <laughs> hilarious. United States Championship match, Antonio Cesaro versus R-Truth. Good match. It was an okay match. But like I said, I just wish there was more built up to this. I wish that there was an actual real feud. Um, but Antonio gets the win. Not too surprising. Then AJ comes out and attempts to embarrass Vicky Guerrero. She's showing pictures of Vicky with Ricardo Rodriguez eating a the taco. Then she's having JR's barbecue sauce. With barbecue sauce all over her. Then she's in Bros Clay's hotel room looking like a stripper, which, mind you, they're all photoshopped. They were pretty funny, though. And then... Just when AJ told Vicky that she can't hit her either or she'd get fired, which thank God there's some actual consequences to what Vicky does, Tamina attacks AJ. Tamina, like, who knew that Tamina was still there? So I guess Vicky has her new hench girl, Tamina. Great. World Heavyweight Championship match, the Big Show versus Sheamus. Now this match, this is Big Show versus Sheamus part duh. Because the Hell in a Cell match was really impressive, a lot better than I was expecting. And you know what? The rematch didn't disappoint either. They put on a great match. And like the part where Sheamus had Big Show on his shoulders and did an electric chair drop on him, like, shocking. I didn't think Sheamus could do that. And then Big Show pulls the referee in front of the bro kick. And there's a whole bunch of confusion. Trainer comes out there, referees all around there. Big Show knocks out Sheamus. One of the random referees makes the pin, and I'm sitting there like, what? What? What's go- I, I was so confused, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Luckily though, one of the referees reversed the decision and said that Sheamus wins by disqualification, but Big Show still keeps the belt. That sucks. Sheamus went off on him with a chair. I'm guessing that's going to set up a chairs match at TLC next month. Traditional 5-on-5 five five Survivor Series elimination match. It's Team Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler, Abel Del Rio, Damian Sandow, Wade Barrett, and to replace Cody Rhodes, David Otunga. You don't know how pissed I was when I saw that on the pre-show. David Otunga? Really, Ziggler? You would pick David Otunga to replace Cody Rhodes? You know how much... How many times Otunga messed up during this match, just fucking up moves? And just, I'm like, oh, 
get this guy out of the match. Luckily, he didn't last that long, but still. All right, whatever. They fought Team Foley. Randy Orton, Kane, Daniel Bryan, The Miz, and Kofi Kingston. Now, first of all, Daniel Bryan was annoying the shit out of me during this match. When he was arguing with Kane, pushing him, and ended up costing Kane to get eliminated, I was like, what the fuck, Daniel Bryan? Really, like, how are you guys attacking champions right now if this is how you're going to be? Then the last two on Team Foley ended up being The Miz and Randy Orton. I said, how ironic. The two who probably can't get along the most are the Soul Survivors versus Alberto Del Rio and Dolph Ziggler. Miz gets eliminated. Uh, it looked like Alberto really wanted to clock Miz in the back of the head because he did that. Then Randy Orton RKO's Alberto Del Rio. It was one-on-one. -on -one. I... First, Randy Orton, I would have guessed he would have won. I, I thought Randy Orton was going to win. But then the moment where he DDT'd him, and then he just was sort of standing there looking, I, I'm like, what is he doing? I was literally waiting for, like, is he going to turn heel? Like, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. But he went for the punt. Instead, he gets super kicked by Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler doing the super kick, I know. And Dolph wins the match. Dolph is the sole survivor Damn. Great match, though. And, you know, I am impressed with Dolph. Good job. He, he did need that win. That brings us to our main event. WWE Championship match. CM Punk versus Ryback versus John Cena. Now, I didn't realize that John Cena was 7-0 going into the Survivor Series. Like, really? It's it's the most winning streak as at a pay-per-view next to Undertaker at WrestleMania. So I started to second guess my predictions going into this, but I'd say the match was pretty good, you know. A part of me did feel bad for Punk because you could tell Ryback and Cena are like just the powerhouse type wrestlers and it's really CM Punk who I don't want to say how to carry them, but it was a lot of a lot of brawling going on between Ryback and Cena. I liked seeing the moments of them going at it. That was pretty cool. But let me just get to straight to the point. The ending, when these three guys came out and attacked Ryback, I knew I recognized two of them at least. Uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, both from NXT. The other guy, I... I forget his name. I didn't catch it. I know Michael Cole said his name. I recognize him too from NXT, but I'm sitting there like, what are these? Is this Nexus all over again? Clearly CM Punk is behind this. It's two pay-per-views, two months in a row where some random act has helped him retain the title. Brad Maddox last month and the NXT guys this time. Yeah. If it's luck, then damn. Because I wish I had luck like that. CM Punk officially tomorrow will be a full year, 365 days as champion. It's one more pay-per-view away from defending the title against The Rock at the Royal Rumble. Once he gets through TLC, he faces Rock at the Royal Rumble. By the way, I want to mention that they wanted the fans to tout who they wanted to win that match. And I touted. For the first time ever, I, I did a tout. And I said I wanted CM Punk to win. I said he's the best in the world. I did this my 15 second thing. And when it came time for them to show the video, they didn't show it. What the fuck? I'm sitting there like, really? Really? I will admit the last person that they showed, him and his kids, and all three of them had different answers. That was cute. That was funny. But the first two, really? You picked those two guys over me? God damn it, man. You know, I know I trashed out before in the past. But if you had showed my tout, I would have, I would have taken it back, and I would have shown respect because, man, if I saw myself on a tout on a pay per view, talk about geeking out. All right, guys. Well, that's my recap and results of Survivor Series 2012. Crazy show, crazy way to end the show. But I am glad CM Punk won. Let me know in the comments below if you saw this pay per view or what you thought of it. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Peace, subscribe, see ya!